From no means no to yes means yes, a new bill in California is redefining the way college campuses investigate sexual assaults. Kirk Hawkins reports on the controversial proposal that could become law. California State Senate unanimously passed a bill on Thursday that changes the definition of consent, requiring an affirmative, conscious, and voluntary agreement to engage in sexual activity. Instead of using the refrain, no means no, California would be the first state to essentially define when yes means yes on public and private college campuses. There comes a time when we have to step in as policymakers and, and put our foot down. Lawmakers say consent can be nonverbal. Silence or lack of resistance does not constitute consent. The legislation also says it's not consent if the prospective partner is drunk, drugged, unconscious, or asleep. Advocates for victims of sexual assault support the new definition. It's important to make everyone, especially the females on a college campus, feel safe. Critics say the bill sends colleges into murky legal waters. I feel like everyone interprets, you know, nonverbal cues and actions really differently. College campuses across the country are under pressure to change how they handle rape allegations. In January, a White House task force said 55 colleges and universities across the country are facing investigations for their responses to sexual abuse and violence. It's total nonsense and it distracts from what is otherwise a very serious problem that needs our real substantive attention. The bill now goes to California's Governor Jerry Brown. While we don't know if he will sign it, his staff says he'll make a decision sometime next month. Kirk Hawkins, ABC News, Los Angeles.